What's up guys, this is Trucking Life. I had a video request by a, a viewer. The video request was, hey, show us what you take with you when you go out. So we'll start off with the, the most important. I bought this makeup bag from Walmart. And so what I've got in here is, you know, just the toiletries, the, the main, you know, up top is the, the dental, you know, and then down here we've got some, uh, that's extra shampoo. Um, that's body spray. Deodorant is in the bag. I'll show you in a minute. It's I keep it near the front of the truck. And this is my shampoo. This is my conditioner. You get you can get those at Walmart for super cheap. And then just fill them up. Uh, top them off from the stuff at home. Um, this is kind of foggy because my really cool beard. There it is. My uh, is a Duke Cannon. There's my beard brush, which is kind of broke, but I used its fine teeth. Anyways, that's the beard oil. It's it's leaking. Um, I always top all that off before I go. Guys, I'm only gone for five days, you know, basically four and a half, you know, maybe four nights. Sometimes I can stop at the house. Right now, I'm washing my uniform. So up here is like my everyday carry. There's my card, you know, my badge or whatever. My pin stays in my pocket. Um, the keys to the padlocks we use, and Walmart just gave us these. Also in this basket, I've got my Swiss Army knife, and check this out. So Walmart gave us a box that came with this. Um, Let's keep on trucking, this is a Walmart thing. A Walmart pin. Um, they gave us this awesome flashlight. These are the best. If you're in the market for a flashlight, get one of these. Also in that bag, we got these Safe Gear uh, Winter Gloves. Here's the box. Pretty cool. And this, <laughs> I don't think it's a 12 ounce, maybe. Pretty cool. Anyways, we're waiting for the laundry to get done. And I'll show you what's in the van right now. All right, as we're walking out. This is my shower bag. Oh, by the way, in the shower bag is the body wash. And it's just some cheap stuff. I ain't scared of the cheap stuff. Contrail. Um, over here, I got my salt and pepper. <laughs> and my extra ink pens and then over here is my allergy meds. I use this thing for everything as you can see Of course, I've got my headset here and this is like my underwear bag <laughs> socks and undies Yeah There's a carload of my kids pulling up Here's the back. This is where it gets interesting <laughs> So I have my k-cup coffee maker, which is amazing um I kind of just threw everything in here because I was just in a hurry to go home, you know. I got some extra mouthwash. Um, these are the tools that we were required to have. Um, there's a padlock you've seen the keys to earlier. This is my old flashlight. Um, most reliable, guys. I spent 40 bucks on one of those metal ones. Um, and then several times I've spent, you know, a little bit more. But, okay, so there's, in this one, you know what I mean? Just a little bit of everything. Um, I got forks, plastic forks. Um, hang on. This one's just extra. Um, there's literally nothing in there. These are, uh, if the sun's like burning my arm, I'll put one of them on. I know it's a little dark, I apologize. Um, here's some extra food. Uh, these are crack and egg. You just buy one of those little uh, six egg containers and you can take this with you. Got Chef Boyardee in there. I got a couple K cups for the coffee. This is a must have if you sleep in a semi truck and you have an APU or, um, you know, whatever, this thing will save your life. Even if you're parked next to some guy whose truck probably shouldn't be idling. <laughs> um, there's my trash can. Um, there's my extra pair of shoes. These are my boots. Um, this is my microwave. And inside is the, the plug-in. Um, I like to keep my water up in the floorboard, so I put it in there. Um, these are extra waters. We can get these from the water places. Usually they have some extra ones that we can just take. Also inside of here, this is my Walmart bag. I could really use it as a shower bag, but like it's got my important, you know, papers and stuff like that, my binders and stuff, just references and stuff. Um, and also my tools. So, and you can't see, dang it. Uh, duct tape, I got extra headlamps um, for the Freightliners. And I haven't tested, I, haven't, I don't know what the internationals are, but I got some duct tape in there. I got a flat hand lock. I got a whole bunch of straps. So that's all in there. And yes, yes, I have a TV. Stay tuned, I'll show you how I do this. In the morning, I'm getting ready to leave uh, for the morning. So in the morning, I'll take, a, we'll put this TV on. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you. Well, not in the morning, but tomorrow. Tomorrow when it's time, I'll put that on. 
that's the hardest part, it's leaving, you know, in the morning. But sometimes I get the, I can come by the house several times. And again, five days. I mean, you guys are going weeks at a time. Not me. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Duffer tree. So yeah, like socks and basketball shorts and under in this one. And we got a big enough cabinet in the truck to put our uh, uniforms in for the week. So just hang them up. Oh, there's the elf, that pesky, pesky elf. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I gotta air this tire up. Also, I forgot. I take the laptop. And the biggest thing I forgot um, is this is my uh, sleeping bag. We put that down on the bed first. And then um, my pillow's in here as well. Um, in the dryer. In the dryer is the, um, the, the sheet. I use like the screen sheet and the um, the comforter, which I hardly ever use. Gets toasty in there. So, see you in the morning. Yeah, guys, that's it. I'll see you in the morning. All right, friends, here we are. We are at the Walmart. I'm setting my personal vehicle over here. Out of the way. Um, I'm 0 for 2 on trucks this morning. The truck I'm supposed to have all week is in the shop. Um, took a little longer on a p.m. because they're doing a wheel seal and some other things so that's not going to be available till the afternoon i'm on a dot com load so i got a roll so they're going to put me in a temporary truck just for today which means i get to come home tonight take everything out of the truck that i'm in today and i'll just put the bare necessities in it and then put those in my next truck and then i'm going home for tonight so <laughs> hell yeah um so my second truck you know what I mean? The truck that they assigned, because I've already been up to the office twice now. Um, well, there's a guy sleeping in it. <laughs> um, they said it's not supposed to happen, but I'm not going to wake somebody up. Plus, you know, then they had to clean the truck out and it'd take forever. So they got me another truck. Let's go find out. Also, if you're watching the long version, um, I did a short of what I take with me. All right. Well, I cut it out of this video. So make sure you check that out too. I do a lot more shorts than I do long videos now because I just don't have time for this. Like, Honestly, like sometimes I just need to go, go, go. Um, instead of talking to my phone, right? Anyways, check it out. All right. It's in there. In that bay, actually. Right there it is. I say my truck, but I mean the truck I'm driving. Uh, supposed to drive for till Christmas Eve. Here's one I'm driving today. I'm just going to put my necessities, like I got my bag I showed you earlier. Um, I added some uh, Tylenol and ibuprofen to this bag, this is also my electronics bag. I did not, usually when I pre-cook food I freeze it and then I'll put it in that refrigerator bag, but I didn't do any pre-cooking because man, when I'm at home I just want to chill. I was lucky enough I washed my clothes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and I didn't chill, I, we were busy, like I'm, I'm still tired from it. The mall man, the mall. Uh, so yeah, I'll bring like a change of clothes and my tools and my shower bag. I don't even need to bring my shower bag actually. I'm like, oh, oh that's kind of risky not taking your own shower bag, but whatever. All right, I'm gonna load up the truck. I'll show you guys some stuff. So this is what these trucks look like when you first get them. This is what they should look like when you're done. Um, this one actually has a floor mat. I had to use the Toyota Tundra floor mat that I pulled out of the passenger side of the truck for, for um, when I'm taking look this guy's even got his TV in that's cool <laughs> um, a lot of trucks have the microwave in them already some don't but yeah you want to leave the truck as clean as you can which is usually cleaner than what they left it like you know what I mean I can clean that up real nice just kind of want to do you know everybody does that that's why these trucks are pristine condition but yeah all I'm bringing um, I don't even need to go in the back of the truck, like, you know, in the, in, the, in the bunk. I don't need to go back there for nothing, so I'm not even going to bring a rug. I have a runner rug that I run back there just to keep footprints off so I don't got to scrub the floor. But yeah, I'll bring a change of clothes just in case, and uh, should be good to go. Correction, correction. Bring my trash can and my water, which is in that bag, and I'll put that in the fridge. All righty, clipboard, all that. <laughs> And that, my tools. And that's all I'm taking for this run. Now I'm gonna do a pre-trip. I'll get another uniform. No, I don't need another uniform. Yeah, I'm done. I just gotta go. Pre-trip and stuff, so that's what I bring. 
stay tuned for the full truck like maybe it doesn't have a microwave and all that stuff we'll see so stay tuned i'm tired so what's in the electronic bag oh, we got my headset <laughs> white glacier camo i don't know we've got my handy dandy ram mount which is very important and then we've got my handy dandy amazing charge your dead smartphone around an hour from zero to 100 this little guy anchor link below is amazing stare at my dirty trash can there do need to get me a bigger one um and this i bought this guy at pilot like my second year truck driving so it's lasted four years and my lights went out yeah whatever it makes a little noise when it first comes on but it levels out then the rest of that i've got some lysol in here and you know just more trash i should have threw away bottles and stuff um this is my paper towel blow your nose thing but yeah so that's my electronics yeah other than that I'll just throw the bedding in here and put the uniforms in this cabinet here It'll be good to go all right so here we are in the truck right now we are getting soaked splish splash we're taking a bath um using this to dust just you know what i mean i literally just had this truck for one day but yeah you know dry skin and stuff um a lot of these trucks will already be stocked with things like that um but you should carry your own if you're like me and you're going through several trucks um using some uh wipes real quick to get all this cleaned up a little bit and you know these are antimicrobial or antibacterial or whatever so we're gonna do that oh and then we'll get all the contact everything i've touched will be cleaned i've already done the screen there and looking super clean of course and here we go here comes the fun part here comes the terrifying part Hope we don't lose a hood mirror. Hood mirror's gone. We just hope it don't bust through the windshield. Oh. We still got two hood mirrors. Here's where the scrubbers go further in, and they miss the entire part of the door from like right here to the mirror is like not touched at all. So, so yeah. That's about it, guys, man. I mean, hopefully that window's not open. Made that mistake once. <laughs> oh, didn't shut that door all the way once on a different truck. It just put some water down there. Not, not really bad. You know. um, yeah, so let's start talking about New Year's resolutions. Anybody think about a new job? Hmm? 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 hit me up <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a video about about that kind of stuff coming up um, I'm I feel like crap today man I might just go home I, I have that opportunity I don't have enough time to do the run and the runs not due till tomorrow more tomorrow afternoon anyways so check it out now we'll do a rinse period it does this and it goes back through for a spot free rinse uh, I probably won't even post this video. I, I do this a lot. And I'm sorry I haven't been putting out very many videos. I'll I'll make a bunch and then I'll just not put them out. I'll, I just kind of lose the... I don't know. Because I get to feel like i got to go back through and edit everything. And I'm just going to... I need to be scripted, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, New Year's, man. Um, I got a couple things I want to try. I want to get better at guitar. Like, like I tell everybody now I'm like a, uh, a bad... Uh, karaoke singer but on guitar you know what i mean so i need to work on that um 
I want to work on myself and obviously my diet and all I want to work on my strength because I blew my back out a couple weeks ago and um, I don't want to do that again <laughs> going to spine doctor later this year or early next year all right don't mind the poor lighting here's an example no floor mat no rug whatsoever no microwave I'll have to bring in all my stuff no big deal I'm gonna log in and but yeah that's why I bring a floor mat and stuff oh look at the great quality all right so my stuff's in here that's all my bedding pillow sleeping bag sheet comforter um, that's my uh, you know my clothes socks all that good stuff there's my microwave inside of it is the power strip you'll have to supply your own power strip if you want to use the APU um, the inverter um, yeah so here's the rug And then there's the Toyota Tundra floor mount. Um, there's the Ram mount. Real quick, I'm gonna try something new. I brought my Stanley. It's uh, the big one that's full of ice water. Love ice water. That's the easiest way to do a, a no pop, no sugar diet is very cold ice water. We get these from the water place. This is, um, I don't know, like a gallon. And then this is my cooler. I'm going to, uh, Put two bags of ice in here or at least one and a half and one one bag i'll keep the ice in the bag because we get free ice here at walmart by the way and then i'll keep filling this up with ice and water and then i got coffee and then there's my coffee machine and my clipboard now i'm gonna go in there and get paperwork oh i brought some eggs for these so i'm excited about that i'm under the weather but i ain't got to talk to nobody or be in contact with anybody so all right, here's the cabinet with the uniforms in. And we're about to make some coffee, the best coffee ever made, Duncan. Ah, uh, I just woke up. <laughs> we gotta turn on the APU or whatever. Microwave's on. Boom. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching this video and please if you could do me a huge favor hit the subscribe if you haven't um, check out some of the links in the description uh, if you're interested in working for Walmart please consider using me as a uh, reference they'll ask you during the phone call who you, who you know or whatever but before that you can email me we can talk more about everything but yeah thanks for watching Thanks for watching this trucking life.